Oh, g'day, Stu here from Your Wavy Futures, and today, oh well, this is just a real short video for you guys. Look, uh, sorry the bench is a total mess, a total nightmare, I've got heaps of stuff going on, but uh, I just got this email, and it was pretty much from one of you guys, and it was like, Stuart, how do I do this? So I wanted to make this video straight away, and pretty much help some of you guys out there, because it might be a little bit tricky. Uh, but what we're going to be doing today uh, is just showing you how to set up some Terena switches on your radio, and configure them in clean flight or beta flight, so you can uh, get them to do what you want them to do. It's super simple, and and I can understand it can be a little bit daunting when you're sort of first trying to read all that information, trying to figure out what's going on. So uh, for those of you who are struggling with how to set up some Tyrannus switches, uh, let's get started. Oh, and just a side note, uh, my computer is like old and ancient, so you're just going to have to bear with me. Uh, I'm just going to be filming the camera, but I'm pretty sure you're not here for the, uh, the quality of the pixels. It's more about the information. Anyway, let's get started. Alrighty, now I apologize for the uh, the darkness, but uh, hopefully you guys can see this. But the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a brand new model. So I'm going to go down and start a brand new model here. Alright, we'll start one here. Create model. And let's go across, I think. Well, how do we get across? It must be some of these buttons. There we go. You know you've made it when you've lost all your buttons in here. Go through all this. So this is all standard, but just as just to show you that this is uh, this is how easy it is. Alrighty, so here's what we've got model 32. Let's uh, just quickly name this to uh, let's let's call this something. All right, let's call it Stu because uh, that's nice and easy. Uh, and now we would go through and we would simply bind it. Oh, Stu, I'm not going to anyway. We'll, we'll leave it at that. We're going to go through and this is where I'd bind it. Now I'm not going to go through that process right here because uh, we're just going to assume we've done that. And this is all about setting up the switches. Now here's the important part. We're going to go through to mixer and then we're going to go down and this is where we're going to put in our extra sort of switches and what we want our switches to be so I'm going to add in three switches here I'm going to add in channel 5 channel 6 and channel 7 so uh, I'm going to go into here and let's give it a name I'm just going to call it a for let's call that that's just for the first one but I'm going to make that my arm switch and then I'm going to oh, get out of there there we go and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to change the source so I usually like my arm switch on this one up here, which is, I think it's S S G. So you can see why that's flashing. I'm actually going to hit the button and it's changed to S G. So now it knows that that is my arm switch. So there's one channel. You can change the name of it to anything you like, but this is just for this video. I'm going to go back, exit. Now let's put in a sixth channel uh, and I'm just going to call this one B and we're going to change the source to barbecue oh, good one good one Stuart and let's uh, set that switch to maybe you want to have uh, this one maybe you want to have this one back here for your buzzer or something so uh, I think did I set that to oh there we go it's already set to SH because I was flicking it a few times so you can see what that is that's already there and then let's exit and then let's put our third switch in so maybe we want to do one over this side maybe for your auto leveling or your mode switching mode so uh, we're gonna go through we'll give it a name oh, beep. let's just call it C uh, go down and once again, I just pushed enter on there. It's flashing around. And so now that's on the switch that I want. Right here, that's how easy it is on the radio. But right now, what I'm going to do off camera, I'm gonna bind up this to a brand new uh, brand new receiver so you guys can see. And then the next time we cut back, we're going to be uh, looking at our receiver and I can show you exactly what's going on. All right, so let's uh, cut to the computer in three, two, one. Alrighty, so uh, here we are on beta flight and I've got my radio turned on right here because you do need your radio on, I guess turned on so I can show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to hit connect and then I'm going to go down and see to look at the modes just here. Uh, I'm going to click on modes and you can see I currently don't have anything set. And if we jump over to our little receiver tab which is over here, you can see that uh, not much is going on at the moment. So... Radio, just a little word of warning too. I grabbed a quad with a beeper that was going off the whole time. It was one of the uh, JJ Pro ones and their beepers configured a little bit differently. So uh, there is a beeper going throughout this video, but I just want to apologize to that. But the information is still the same and, and really I just made this to try and help you guys. So anyway, just want to let you know that there will be some beeping for the rest of the video. Alrighty, sorry about the beeping that's going on, but you can see now that I've got my quad plugged in and my radio's on, so we've got our first four channels uh, just here that's showing us what was normally here, and then here's the three that we set up, so this was the fifth channel, the sixth channel, and the seventh, so this was A, this was B, this was C when we set it up on our Tyrannus, and if you wanted to do more, you can do more, if you had an S bus receiver, you can do like up to 16, so anyway, so now we know we've got auxiliary one, auxiliary two, and auxiliary three, and if I flick my switches on the radio, you can see uh, that was my SG that I had set 
this one I decided I wanted to have as my sort of mode switching. So they're the, they're the buttons on your actual Tyrannus that I'm changing just there, whatever ones you set on the radio. Now let's jump over to modes and uh, I'll show you how to set them. Click on modes. Radio. So let's say we want to add an arm range. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to slide it all the way up to here. And you can see just, just this little point just here. That's showing you currently on the auxiliary one channel uh, where that is sitting. So if I flick that switch, you can see it's jumping to mid because it's a three point position. So the medium, medium, and then there's the high. So that means it is going to arm when auxiliary one is in this position just here. So if I saved that now, I'll do that. It's, it just started to arm. Radio, and then let's say we want to add maybe a, a flight mode over here. So maybe you want your air mode on something. Or you could put that maybe right across here or you could have it in the middle if you just want it to be somewhere like that. You can drag these sliders to make them as big or as small as you want. And maybe we want to put that on auxiliary three. So now when I flick uh, auxiliary three, you can see it would be up here and that would mean uh, mode, um, air mode was happening. You can do a whole bunch of things in here. So maybe, for example, a good one that a lot of people like to do is they might want to put on angle mode. And let's say angle modes here and they might want horizon mode. To be, so it could be on a three position switch. So and we'll put this on auxiliary three, for example. So uh, when you flick this switch, currently no, no modes are selected, so it would be acro. I put it in the middle, it's going to jump up to here because these are both on auxiliary three, which means angle mode would be, uh, would be activated. And then if we go all the way up to the top, that's going to turn it into horizon mode. So fairly, fairly simple stuff. Once you get an idea of how to do things, you can do some really cool and interesting things by playing around uh, sort of with these settings. But, and you've got a ton of things, so your beeper and all those sorts of things you can set up. But do remember to always hit save, because if you don't hit save down the bottom, which is uh, down right here, it's not going to remember anything. So probably the biggest one for me, all I really worry about is setting up a beeper and an arm switch, because I like to fly an acro. But uh, yeah, hopefully that helps some of you guys out there. So there it is guys, uh, there's pretty much how to set up some simple switches on your radio, on your Tyrannus and uh, get it all talking to clean flight. So I know it's a little bit daunting when you first start, but hopefully this can help some of you guys out there. And I definitely know it's gonna help at least one of you because I did get your email. So subscribe for more FPV related content. And if you really, really like this content, uh, consider heading over to Patreon because if just 10% of my subscribers over there donated just one or two dollars a month, it would make a massive difference and pretty much uh, would all really add up and let me make more of this content for you guys and possibly get to the dream of one day doing it full time. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, but yeah, hopefully that helps some of you guys. Happy flying! <laughs> so there it is guys, there's my review. I'm not even reviewing this, what am I doing? I'm so used to saying that. Oh. <coughs>